Let's get into it. <laughs> so um, the, the five like, major questions that I asked everybody or that I sent to everybody um, were basically based on what I, when I pulled my Twitter. So any, any of the followers on Twitter and I asked them, I said, you know, if, if I were to write a, a book or a guide, about what it takes to be, you know, to go uh, professional or to be a professional poker player, you know, what do you most want to know? And so these are like the five top questions I believe this is what I, that I sent to you guys. Okay. Hold on. Yeah. Time out. Uh, <laughs> Jesus and, Christ. And he has to poop in his diaper too. Lyman, you want to come over? A answer number one, don't have kids. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Number one. <laughs> Seriously consider having children. I don't know what the question is, but the answer is don't have kids. No. I'm, I'm um, just so, they're they're so obviously the light of your life. question like, actually is not from the Twitter followers, but it's from me. And, and really, I think this is a great question because it's so simple, but it's really like, what is what is a pro? You know, a lot of people are like, well, what does it mean to be a pro? Well, like, you know, we, you see a lot of us and we all do, we wear a lot of different hats. And, right. Um, so people, for one of the questions, and I think probably it'll start off the book, is, you know, what does being a pro mean to you? And, like, the definitions are wide and varied. You know, after all your years in this industry, what does it become for you? Right. I think, here's what I think. you got to kill that kid. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Two, there's two of them. There's two of them. This is why, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm kidding. Don't You're... think I haven't thought it. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. Don't kill them. Just maim them. Seriously. No, I'm, I'm not don't joking. Just... Yes. I'm joking. Just put, yeah. just put a pillow over their head. They, they, they won't die. They'll just pass out. No, okay. Anyway. Um, uh, <laughs> if, if you spend every moment that you're in the casino trying to win as much money as you possibly can playing poker, and you actually do win, then I think you are a poker pro. That's my okay. definition. Like... If you go to the casino for anything other than making as much money as you possibly can, no matter how much you actually make, I don't think you're a poker pro. You're a hobbyist. Mm -hmm. You're a hobbyist. All right? There's mm -hmm. a lot of people who make a little bit of money in tournaments or make a little bit of money playing No Limit Hold'em when they could obviously make more money playing Limit because the game is so good, but they don't want to waste time learning Limit or... They make a little bit of money doing this or that, but they don't actually dedicate themselves to making as much money as they possibly can with every hour that they're in the casino. They don't treat it like an actual job. I don't consider those people pros. I consider those people hobbyists. Mm -hmm. And that's my... I like your term. Yeah, I like your term hobbyist too. I start to use that lately because, you know, there's there's a lot of names that have been used a lot of, you know, like semi-pro, which is kind of silly because how do you define that? But I like the term hobbyist or I mean, what, what we used to say is, you know, recreational, but there's almost kind of like a separation even between rec recreational and hobbyist at some point too, but... Well, there's yeah, I, I, there, I, I, sorry. there are hobbyists that can make a lot of money playing poker. I mean... Exactly. Like, there are people like, let's say like a, a Matt Salzberg. Uh, he, he apparently wins a lot of money in poker tournaments but he doesn't dedicate himself to like the craft of poker, like playing every day in the in the game where he's going to have the highest return on investment. And why should he? He's all he's. Why should he? I mean, he's like a dude who writes TV shows and stuff. But even though he's a very good poker player who makes money, I would consider him like a hobbyist. Mm -hmm. And whereas a guy like who probably makes less money than him, a guy like let's say. Uh, a JCW or something. Uh, mm -hmm. I would consider JCW a poker pro because he literally does nothing but try to win the absolute maximum that his DNA will allow him to win. Like he's well, both of those actually are answering my questions too. By the way, which is funny that you say that. So I, I, it's not. I don't consider poker pro the how much money you make. I consider it by mm -hmm. your level of dedication to the craft. Right, and your level of dedication to eking out every dollar that you can possibly make. And some people are just so good that they can stay hobbyists. And some people have to like really become a professional poker player. That's, that's my feeling on it. It's, it's very hard to define, but that's the definition that I've come up with over the years. 
I mean, and um, sorry, go ahead. No, I, if a guy walks into like, let's say the bike, okay. I'm taking a puff of my cigar. It's as bad as your kids. Uh, if a guy walks into the bike and he walks directly past my 510 20 PLO game with like five guys straddling their stack into day 13 B of the, of the multi rebuy tournament, that man is not a professional poker player. That man is a hobbyist. I'm not saying that he doesn't make good money at, at his hobby, but he is not a professional poker player. Because a professional poker player does not walk by that game. He is dedicated to his craft. He's dedicated to eke out every dollar that he has in the casino. He's not there for fun. He's only there for money. And when you're not there for fun and you're only there for money, you always have to play in the game that's going to give you the highest return on investment. Mm -hmm. 